Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason and this is your daily relaxation hypnosis session for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. During these sessions I don't talk a huge amount about panic attacks. I guess one of my main aims is that each session by aiming at ways to relax mixed together with other sessions will give you an opportunity to reduce that level of anxiety which would maybe trigger a panic attack and I know that sometimes well in my own experience they didn't always seem to be much make much sense about when a panic attack would start sometimes it would just start for no reason at least that's how it felt but with gradual relaxation meditation mindfulness I did notice I was able to have less of them so it's not it's quite a good place to be if you can have the feeling of panic but not have the panic attack because the feeling of panic can then you can do something with that you can then use a, a you know a reduction technique a t technique to reduce your anxiety or you can just sit with the feeling because when you sit with a feeling it changes so what I'm going to do is show you an example of what I mean and how things change because even when we don't do anything things change and I'm not, I'm not being philosophical here although it's true in life everything changes um, everything changes but you that's what uh, take that said but you know everything changes in your physical situation as well as your mental situation um, it sometimes feels like it doesn't change like oh it's gonna be like this forever and I'm gonna feel this way forever and it's never gonna get better and you know th those kind of things can be in our minds the fact is that nothing stays the same. I remember seeing clients when I was a counsellor. I was still a counsellor, but when I was practising. And uh, one particular person used to come and say, I never laugh. I'm depressed the whole time. And we'd spend like half an hour out to 50 minutes laughing. I mean, together, you know, he'd, he'd be laughing. But it seemed like immediately after he'd been laughing, he'd forget that. Because that wasn't his focus. His focus was on the times when he felt uh, miserable and unhappy and, you know, the, the depression part of it. That's what his focus was on. He didn't even notice when he was laughing. We're constantly changing, our feelings are constantly changing. And this is something that I've done with people uh, face to face. So I wanna do it, it's something you can do on your own when you have a feeling of panic or anxiety or stress. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the technique with you now. So you don't have to focus on any um, like major thing, but just I want you to focus on whatever part of your body or doesn't even have to be in your body. Just notice the stress that you have in your mind at the moment. Okay. And just focus on it. Focus on that stress. And I'm not going to call it stress anymore, I'm just going to call it that feeling, okay? 
because the feeling is going to change. Not because I'm saying it's going to change, not because you want it to change, and not because that's kind of the whole, maybe the whole point of watching this video is for um, feelings that you perhaps don't want to have, you know, to transform into feelings that you do want to have or to at least reduce, uh, maybe disappear altogether. That's not the reason why it's going to change. It's going to change because that's what happens when you don't hold on to it, when you just observe it. Because to have a feeling stay the same for any length of time, you have to really work hard and put all your energy into having that feeling stay there. And it might seem like you're not doing that, but actually that's what's happening. So when you have a feeling of discomfort and you've still got that feeling of discomfort and you've still got it and then you've still got it and it's like, it feels like it's never going away because that's what you're focusing on. So what you can do with this is you can actually focus on that physical feeling. So notice where it is. Maybe it's in a part of your body. Maybe it's in your neck, maybe it's in your head. Maybe it's in your mind for now. Maybe it's in your chest, your fingers, who knows? Just focus where it is, where that feeling is. A feeling of discomfort, it was stress, but just focus on that feeling. I'm just gonna call it that feeling. Because that's all it is. And just focus on it. Don't try and hold it. Don't try and hold on to it. Don't try and push it away. Okay, so you're not, you're not trying to eliminate it, not trying to dissolve it, not trying to just, you know, allow it just to break down, chop it up into little bits and just, you know, chuck it away and allow it to be gone. So you're not trying to do any of that stuff. You're just allowing it to be there. And what happens is the feeling changes. And it moves. So as it changes, it moves to a different part of the body. And there's no necessary reason for this. It's just what happens when you focus on it. In the same way, if you turned the light off and you had a, a torch or flashlight and you kept it completely still on the dark wall, the light would start moving around. Your optical, uh, you know, your eyes would make it look like the light was moving, even though it wasn't moving at all. So, in that same way, this sensation changes, it moves, and by just observing it, not doing anything at all, not trying to change it, not trying to hold on to it, but just noticing where it is. Notice where it is now. Just being aware of it. Noticing how it feels. Noticing any changes that have occurred within it naturally without you doing anything at all. Now noticing where it is now. Where's it moved to? What part of your body is it in now? And what strength has it got? Is it the same strength as it was before? What does it feel lighter, it feels less than before? Maybe there's some kind of sound connected to it. Maybe that sound's changed. Maybe there's a feeling that, just a certain feeling that you can't perhaps give a name to, but 
that feeling is maybe just moved into a different feeling readjusted itself finally tuned itself into a different frequency kind of as it moves to a different part of your body and every time it moves it seems to just be less and there's, again there's no reason for this other than I guess a dilution it dilutes itself by moving because every time it moves it proves to you that actually that it's just a feeling it's not a fixed thing it's not something that you can hold in your hands and show somebody you couldn't wrap it up in pre you know as a present and give it to someone for christmas it's not an actual thing it's just a thought a feeling and that feeling changes continuously and dilutes the more you realize it isn't what you thought it was to the point where it's actually hard to hold on to that kind of thought and feeling because it then moves again maybe to a different part of your body it's as if it becomes smaller as well I guess the dilution of it as it moves and as it becomes smaller in your head just like a, a memory you know of a house when you were a child and you go and revisit that house and the house it's just so much smaller than it used to be. You know, it's a tiny little house now, now that you're an adult and you're big. And when you were little, it seemed so, such a huge house, such a big rooms. And now you can see it for what it really is. It's as if the house has shrunk the same way as if this feeling has shrunken diluted and as it moves again to maybe another part of the body the sensation feels different and how does it even feel anything like how it did before can you even recognize it The change can be so profound that it's unrecognizable. You could look at it and think, well, you've got a feeling there. It's a very faint feeling. And in some ways it's quite difficult to hold on to that feeling without a bit of work, you know? You need to sort of put a bit of energy in to keep it going. It's like trying to keep a plate spinning on a stick. Eventually you just let it stop and it falls down and breaks and that feeling's gone. Where's the feeling gone? So open your eyes and if your eyes were closed, just where is it? And that's what happens when you focus on a feeling. It's just a feeling. So give it a go, let me know how you get on. Excuse the noise in the background, that's Andre. This is the second video you've been in. Here's little Andre. So if you have got your eyes closed, you might want to open your eyes to say hello to little Andre. Normally I um I keep him in my bedroom when I do this and 
so he doesn't come out and disturb anything but luckily we finished a session so it's okay what are you doing so just give that another try on your own test it out maybe find another feeling that you have and just follow it don't try and hold on to it don't try and you know eliminate it don't give it any power just allow it to just be there it's like a like an old star it's just naturally just burning out anyway or like a candle you know the last little embers of a candle when it's just a tiny little bit of wax and you know that the candle light is going to go out any second so you just watch it and that light changes you know the sensation of the light the heat of the light that candle the color everything changes even the smell the sound and there's a sound as it goes out like a on a sound and it's no longer a candle that thing that you might have had for months that candle that maybe you've used 30 40 times it's no longer a candle it's gone You wouldn't call it a candle now, would you? See, if he was quiet all the time like this, and just laid here, then I could do sessions with him. But it's amazing how he can just fall asleep in a second. Don't you? Just fall asleep in one second. <laughs> I think when my beard gets a bit busier, like a bit busier, fuzzier and stuff, I think he feels like I'm more like him, like I'm like a little polecat myself. My head is like a little ferret. My chin. The way he rubs himself on me. anyway you take care of yourselves let me know how you get on with this because the session could be longer i could have extended it but i'd like you to actually test it out for yourself because it's much more fun because what i would do if you was here in person i would ask you where feeling's gone now and you might say it's now in my left hand it's now in my right shoulder it's now in my stomach and you would describe the feeling to me you would describe maybe if it's got a color if it's got a sound maybe if it's moving some kind of movement maybe there's a texture to it I can't do that on a video like this because everybody's going to experience it differently so you know just try it out for yourself test it allow yourself some space some time to relax and to love yourself and andre says goodbye Right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.